Now let us discuss about uh, problems on the diode circuit based on small signal equivalent of diode. So here we have a question with a diode circuit which is having two diodes and resistances. The question is consider practical diodes and find ID1 as well as ID2 that means the current in the first diode as well as current in the second diode. So when you look at the circuit here we have a voltage source of 10 volts and positive polarity is connected to the diode here and this is P side P, uh, P side of the diode and this is a, a negative polarity connected to the N side of this diode. So we can make an assumption that so because positive polarity is connected here negative polarity so the diode will go into forward bias. So when you forward bias this diode the diode can be replaced by a cut in voltage because here the question is consider practical diodes. So when you are considering practical diodes the diode cut in voltage you have to consider and the diode cut in voltage will be 0.7 volts is the cut in voltage for diode and again after having a drop of 0.7 volts the voltage at this point will be uh, again we can have another 0.7 because again positive polarity is applied here we will have another 0.7 volts drop across the second diode also. So here we have what we need to is we need to find out ID1 as well as ID2. So if you observe carefully so this 0.7 volts is the drop across diode the same drop will be across this resistance also. So from this we can we can answer it like the current in this resistance will be equal to so here the voltage across this one is 0.7 volts voltage is 0.7 volts and here the resistance is 3.5 kilo ohms. So the current you will get it as 7 by 35 1 by 5 so this will be 0 0.2 milli amperes as it is in kilo ohms I am writing the current in milli amperes. So now we got the current in this direction. So here we need to find out ID1 and ID2. If you observe this ID1 is getting divided into two one ID2 as well as the current in this 3.5 current in this 3.5 and here uh, the say again the sum of these currents will enter into 4.3. So if you observe this uh, current in this 4.3 is same as the ID1 because the ID1 is getting divided and the same again will sum up and enter into 4.3. So here if you find the current in this direction that will be same as the ID1. So here ID1 is same as the current in the 4.3 kilo ohms. So how to find out the current in this direction? So if you take a loop equation like this, so here this is 10 volts is a 10 volts and then here the voltage drop across this one is 0 0.7 volts and again if you take another this is another drop 0 0.7 volts and the voltage across this one will be equal to 4.3 multiplied the current in this direction. So that is 4.3 kilo ohms and I will take current in milliamperes so I am directly taking ID. 1. So this will be equal to 0. Now if you observe this will be 10 minus 1.4 this will be 8.6 minus 4.3 into ID1. So which will give ID1 is equal to 2 milli amperes that is the current in the first diode. Now how to find out the current in second diode. So when you consider the current in second diode you can write the kick off current law like ID1 is equal to sum of ID2 as well as current in the 3.5 kilo ohms. So here ID1 we got it as 2 milli amperes and ID2 is this is 0 0.2 milli amperes and sorry ID2 we need to find out ID2 we need to find out and 3.5 in 3.5 we have 0 0.2 milli amperes. So by solving this equation we will get ID2 is equal to 2 minus 0 0.2 1.8 milli amperes. So the current in the first diode is 2 milli amperes, the current in second diode is 1.8 milli amperes that is the answer for this problem.